All right, everybody, uh, my next guest is not only beautiful, but she's probably the smartest person in this room. Well, first of all, she's Miss USA 2017. <laughs> and she's also a scientist. <laughs> so, here to teach us a thing or two about science, please welcome Kyra McCullough. Hi, Kyra. Hello. How are you doing Good. again? How are you? Thank you. So you're actually really a scientist. Yes. So what, what does your job entail on a day-to-day -day basis? What do you actually do? So I actually work on the regulation for nuclear power plants domestically, and I did that through the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. <laughs> you did something really cool. You started an outreach program for kids. I did. Science exploration for kids, actually. Really? Yeah. So I actually started it in college when I attended South Carolina State University. Mm -hmm. And it's an interactive program that actually changes the way children look at science and math subjects. Mm -hmm. And we actually do that through an art type of program. So we incorporate science, technology, engineering, arts, and math together to create STEAM instead of STEM. And we do that through after school programs. We do that through um, career readiness, summer camps, as well as uh, mentoring and tutoring. Okay, yeah. that's a good, great program. Thank you. All right, so today you're gonna teach us about science with some experiments. Uh, but first, we have a disclaimer for all of our viewers. Don't try any of this at home. What's the first experiment? Okay, so scientists, first what we're gonna do is put on our protective gear, right? We have goggles and as well as science lab coats behind us. Okay. So let's grab that. I think this one's yours. Okay. I think this one should be mine, it's a little smaller. That's okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, the gatekeeper, right? Thank you. Yeah, you got four daughters. I know how to do this here. So for this first experiment we have, it's called the iodine clock reaction. Okay. So basically, as you see in these two beakers, we have colorless liquids, right? Uh -huh. So you're gonna pick them up, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix them three times. So go one, two, three. All of it? Yes. And I do, gotta, and do it right do it fast. fast. One, two, three. Okay. One. Good job. Two. 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 One more, one more. Three. And hold it up and look at it closely. Hold it up and look at it closely. This ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you see, okay. Okay, so when we look at this, what color, you, you see like a dark blue color, right? So basically, if you think back to when you were a child and you scraped your knee on the ground and your old, you know, the old folks had that iodine in the, in the closet yeah, and uh -huh. that cupboard. So essentially that's what we're seeing right here. Beaker B, which was cornstarch and water, and beaker A was iodine and water. The cornstarch is an indicator. So basically that's showing you when the iodine is getting to an oxidation state of happiness. So now you can see that it's happy, it's settled, and the color is black and no longer clear. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right. Keep on moving. What we got? So right here, we call this the smashing fruit. So before we get started, let's put on our protective gloves. Oh, why is all this mess dangerous? <laughs> okay, so in here we have some fruit that's actually cooling in liquid nitrogen, right? But before okay. we get started, I'm gonna cool these some more with liquid nitrogen. Okay, don't be afraid, it's okay, I got it, no worries. Okay. No worries. So as you can see, the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Girl, if I had that in my dorm room. Okay, so what we're gonna do is while this is cooling, we're gonna pick out some fruit. So let's actually go for the kiwis and bananas. Let's pull them out, because okay. that's all that's in here, right? And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this bowl really fast. See what happens when you hit it really hard. Ah! Another one? Really? Let's bring another one. Yeah, come on, keep them coming. Ah! Put them on down there. <laughs> all right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. all this up in here. Come on, take... ah! I'm sorry about that. So you got your said, yeah, I, got I think this is the way to take out your anger, you know, after a long do day. Do this hammer. Ah! Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so basically what we saw, we know that liquid nitrogen has a temperature of negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Really? I didn't know that. That's cold, isn't it? Negative 300. Yes. And we know that basically when we're seeing all the smoke coming off of it, it's actually hitting the room temperature. So that's what we just did with this experiment. It's just liquid nitrogen. You know what the crazy thing is though? We can also make ice cream. Let's move on to the next one. So this last one is called hydrogen bubbles. And what I'm gonna have you do is add some soap to this tub of water right here. Yeah, be generous, go ahead. Yeah, oh, this right here. Yeah, I know what this is. It's bubble bath time right here. 
We have this tub full of soap water. Mm -hmm. What is inside this balloon? Air. Actually, it's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. And we have this right here off to the side, so you can hold this. But actually, before you do that, let's put on our protective earwear. And actually, the audience, make sure you do the same. All right. What the hell finna go on in here? So, Steve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release some of this hydrogen and oxygen mixture into this tank to create some bubbles. And after I do that, I'm going to pick up the bubbles and bring my hand over here. Uh -huh. And you're going to take the lighter and just put it on top of the bubble. And then we're going to see what happens. On top of the bubble? Well, yeah, like, you know, like, aim it, like, right at the bubble. Right at the bubble. Yeah. The five. Okay, so we're going to get started. So you can actually okay, stand back. Okay, put your hand like in the yeah, water yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Got to wet my hand first. That's right. Yeah. So the bubbles can stick to it. I'm going to release this air in here. I'm going to just be generous. Okay, that should be good. All right. I'm going to lay that back down. My hand is wet. I'm going to pick up bubbles, and I'm going to bring my hand over here, and you can lay the lighter on top of it. Well, class, um, <laughs> you did great, Steve. You did great. You did great. Okay, so we have, we graduated. Now we're here. We're here to understand the science behind combustion, right? Yeah. So that's what happened. So we had the hydrogen, which is a very explosive gas, <laughs> inside of the oxygen. It was trapped inside of the bubbles. And we picked up the bubbles, and then we have the flame, which creates the, the combustion, and it blew up. So we had like a hypersonic boom. Yeah. Folks, I want to thank uh, Kyra and thank all of you uh, to check out more information about Kyra Science Exploration for Kids organization. Go to our website, stevetv.com. We'll be back. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.